Shalom. My name is Randy Reese and my wife Jessica. Hello. We live in Hornets, Georgia in the USA. And if you're watching this, it's because you have more questions and not the right answers. You probably heard responses like, that's just the way we teach it. That's the way it's done. Yeah, or or you're overthinking it, or the really big one, you don't, you have, don't enough, have enough faith. Enough faith. Exactly. And we, believe, believe, believe you me that we grew up Christian, and we've gotten the Messianic movement, and we felt like that we wanted to get closer to the Jewish people. Because Scripture says they have the truth. They have the truth. And we studying the Hebrew scriptures and we found the Noahide commands and we found that by studying um, with uh, Rabbi Tobia Singer mm -hmm. and you can tell the rest of that as Randy said if you're watching this day you're not here by accident you're here for a reason and that reason is you want to you want to know your place in the world. You want to know how you, as a non-Jew, can have a relationship with Hashem, the God of the, the entire universe, the only true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And like us, you probably was raised Christian, didn't know you could question Christianity, didn't know you were allowed to say, well, hey, what about this? And when you do, you get shut down with the responses that we just went over then you probably will gravitate over to the Messianic movement because you'll still feel that you have to somehow make a place for Jesus. By that time, you're probably calling him Yeshua in your life. So you gravitate over there thinking, oh, this is great. I'm in the Jewish tradition. I'm in, I feel like I'm surrounded by, by Jews. But it doesn't take long before you find out there's not any Jews there. It's basically an evangelical church under the cover of Judaism. So, if you keep studying and you're really seeking the truth and the relationship and your place in the world to come, you will know, you will discover the seven Noahide commands. You will, it will dawn on you that Noah was the only person, him and his family were the only people at one time on earth. That has to mean something. So, like, I, like my husband said, we found Rabbi Tobia Singer. After 40 plus years, he was the first one to ever introduce to us the Noahide commands. And and we just went with it. We studied on our own. After studying for a period of time, we reached out to our local Kabad house here in, in Augusta, Georgia. And the rabbi there uh, it was, was very helpful. He referred us to asknoah.org, which led us to, to more studies, which ultimately led us today to Rabbi Moshe Peretz and the worldwide Noahide community that, that, that you're visiting today. So we just want you to know you're not alone. This is a journey. You're not here by accident. You're here because you are a true descendant of Noah and you are seeking the God of Israel, a relationship with the God of Israel and your place in the world to come. And, and we together, through, through living our lives throughout the seven Noahide commands and teaching them and being being a light unto the non-Jews as the Jews are to the entire world. We can stand side by side with the Jews in the world to come to make this a dwelling place for the one true God as it was meant to be. Exactly. And if y'all need a scripture to look at and you're scared to put Jesus away or you want to keep Jesus on the, on the, on the shelf, do Isaiah 43, 11. And it says, I, yes, I am your Lord and you have no other Savior. That's from prophecy. God, and you can look through De Deuteronomy. It, it's stated in there many a time. It says, I am your Lord, your, 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 your Lord alone. So just just read it and read it as, as God was given to Moshe. He gave it to him personally. And all Moses did was write it down. And it's complete. It's not up for renegotiation. It's not up for interpretation of your own. It's there. It's forever. It does not change with the world. The world shouldn't be changing as it is, and it wouldn't be because God's Word has never changed, and it never will. Exactly. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email us. I'm sure our contact information will be somewhere around this video. And email us anytime, and we'll, and we'll answer anything we can. And if you're in the area, feel free to reach out. We'll be glad to 
to meet up with you and we'll sit down and have lunch and talk. You're not alone. Don't feel like you are. Those answers are out there. You just got to look in the right places. And if you're here today, you're off to a really good start. Yeah, we love you. We're Christian. We're Christian.